Everybody is born with a natural strength, a talent. It's usually discovered when we're much younger, but many times we don't give the skill much importance. We don't think it's worth developing, and we forget about the skill and move on with our lives. What ends up happening? We go to, we go to get an education, we get a job, and we settle for being average in our profession because we don't stand out. I'm a mechanical engineer in undergrad, and I currently work at an aerospace company. I can handle both responsibilities because I love what I do. I found a major where I've successfully combined my natural born talents with my career interests. So my natural born talent is um, being an artist, actually. <laughs> um, I can paint and draw. I, uh, these are my two freehand oil paintings. Um, I paint these with no um, formal uh, training. And so all throughout being a kid, people would tell me, um, when they looked at my drawings, they would ask, are you taking art classes? And I'd tell them, no, I'm not. Then they'd follow up with, wow, you've got a natural talent as an artist. So with this type of feedback, I developed the mindset to use my talents in a career. And so I broke down the skills of an artist. Um, yes, I could draw, but more importantly, I could visualize. I could see what I was going to put on my canvas before I dipped my brush in paint. Um, this took innate imagination and creativity. And so when I entered college, I was exposed to the possibilities where I could apply this talent. I've always had a strong interest in science and astronomy. And that led me towards the field of space exploration. And uh, it was then that I was introduced to the world of engineering. So I did research on what engineering was. And uh, I found that engineers make products to make the world a better place. Well, artists create and make objects to be enjoyed by society. So I saw similarities. Engineers also use creativity and imagination to find solutions. Well, so do artists. I, uh, I saw a lot of overlap between art and engineering. And when I try to explain to people this connection I saw, no one believed me. Everyone said that art and engineering are two different worlds that don't cross over. So um, I'm not working on the next Mars rover, but I am working for an aerospace company. And what I do there is I design um, tooling to help with production. So uh, um, one of the tools I made were these covers that protect these circuit cards while they're mounted on these aluminum frames. Um, these circuit cards are populated with electrical components that are extremely sensitive. And so I was asked to, to make these covers to provide mechanical protection. I was asked to make these covers two weeks before my internship ended. Um, my department had recently purchased a 3D printer, and they said, let's give the intern something to do on the 3D printer. <laughs> so I started designing these covers with sketches on paper. My artistic side came out. Um, I showed my bosses my sketches, and they understood and gave me the green light to move forward. So I was communicating my ideas through my strengths, which were with freehand drawing. So then I started modeling on the, on the computer. And again, my 3D visualization skills kicked in. I delivered these products, um, these covers, within one week. I went from concept to delivering a functional prototype. And it made everyone happy. Um, and then, that was with the red covers. And then I got a laundry list of tools to make because the word got out. Um, and then I made these black covers that protect circuit cards in a different type of frame. So, what happened? I successfully combined my natural born strength with my formal training in mechanical engineering. 
And also, I turned into the go-to guy for 3D printing in my department. I was living heaven on earth because I combined two disciplines that seem unrelated and it worked to my advantage. So I use my skills to visualize in my job. For all of you, your talents are different and your application of them are gonna be unique to you. For example, let's say you're, you have a strength in event planning, right? Maybe you'd like to plan a family vacation or a birthday party. Better yet, you're the one they call to to put it all together. If your job does not require planning, consider rotating to another role as a program coordinator. Your skills to plan that, it, that family vacation are gonna cross over, such as keeping track of bookings, vendors, headcount, and staying on budget. Your innate skills as a planner would carry you through your job role and people would see that enthusiasm and assign you more work in that area. Pretty soon, you're gonna be rocking your job and feel great doing it. So, first step, you need to identify your talent. And you do this by um, searching your past experiences and searching deep within yourself. You gotta think back to when someone has told you you're great at this thing. It's something people come to you for. Um, something that people love about you, and oftentimes you lose track of time when you're doing it. Some examples of talent can be reducing complex ideas to simple to understand terms, or um, seeing the big picture in group projects. It can be anything. Next is to put it in practice. As soon as you put your, your strengths to work, you're gonna see a change in the quality of your work because these innate skills come out of you naturally. And as you keep using them, you're gonna develop them further and further. The, the uh, idea is to do, uh, make career choices within your strengths. If you do these things, you're going to stand out. You're gonna do things better than most and um, ask yourself, What's the difference between using and not using your natural born strengths? If I had not used my abilities as an artist to design those covers in my engineering job, I would not have delivered them within such a short deadline. I would have missed the opportunity to make a name for myself at my company as an intern. So, um, for me, it's art. For you, it's something else. So, Go out there and play your strengths. Thank you.